good morning students today's class is about physiology of pregnancy physiology of pregnancy physiology of pregnancy is mainly concerned with maternal adaptations to provide ideal environment for fertilization nutrition to the growing fetus and also safe child birth and thereafter to fulfill nutritional needs of the newborn mainly the reproductive system is involved in pregnancy but other systems also undergo adjustments the other systems are the cardiovascular system and the respiratory system skin and other systems we will be talking about later the contents in this are the fertilization and implantation formation of placenta and its functions physiological changes during pregnancy mainly physiological changes during pregnancy we will be learning today pregnancy it is the period from fertilization to birth it starts when a male sperm fertilizes a female egg ovum in the woman's fallopian tube making a zygote with 46 chromosomes the zygote starts to divide and after 5 to 7 days of dividing and growing it attaches itself to the wall of the uterus the moment it is implanted in the wall of the uterus it becomes an embryo and the placenta starts to develop after 8 weeks the developing embryo called fetus after 8 weeks the developing embryo called fetus the placenta gives the embryo fetus the oxygen and nutrition and removes the waste through the umbilical cord placenta acts as a excretory organ and also respiratory organ and also it acts as a supplement of nutrients to the growing fetus fertilization the genetic material from a sperm cell and secondary oocyte merges into a single nucleus is called fertilization the genetic material from a sperm cell and secondary oocyte merges into a single nucleus is called fertilization sperm here here we have oocyte and they both will form as fertilization occurs within the fallopian tube about 6 days after fertilization the blastocyst attaches to the endometrium a process is called implantation fertilization is the fusion of male and female gametes and implantation is about 6 days after fertilization the blastocyst attaches to the endometrium a process is called implantation transport of before fertilization the ovum and 
sperm reaches the ampulla for fertilization. Transport of ovum. At the time of ovulation, the ovum is directly expelled into the peritoneal cavity and then enters into fallopian tube from the ovary. It and directly enters into the fallopian tube. The fimbri of the fallopian tube are internally lined by ciliated epithelium. When ovulation occurs, the fimbria of infundibulum encircles the surface of the ovary, rub it and pick up the womb and then direct it towards the ostium by continuous beating of cilia. The contractions of the smooth muscle fiber present in the wall of the fallopian tube also help in transport of womb. These contractions increase at the time of ovulation under the influence of estrogen. Before fertilization, the structure of the womb is it contains 23 unpaid chromosomes surrounded by inner membrane. We call it as Jona pellucida consists of glycoprotein and it is surrounded by corona radiata, consists of granulosa cells arranged in multi layers. In embryology, you will be learning all the, these things. These cells are held together by matrix composed of hyaluronic acid. The ovum is held at the ampulla isthmus junction for 2 to 3 days. It will be held for 2 to 3 days. Remains viable for 6 to 24 hours after ovulation. During this period, if viable sperm penetrates it, fertilization takes place and leading on to pregnancy. On the other hand, if fertilization does not occur, the worm dies out of and it degenerates. About the sperm. After ejaculation, several million sperms, about uh, our is 200 million, get deposited in the vagina. Out of these, 100 manage to reach onto the ovum and only one is able to penetrate it. This is because of several factors. Transportation is because of motility of the sperm, pH medium, cervical mucus, fluid currents, temperature, hormones, this will all plays a major role for the sperm to transport and also sperm capacitation also. This refers to process that makes a sperm to fertilize or to fertilize the ovum. Immediately after ejaculation, the female genital tract and the sperm undergo certain changes that enable to fertilize an ovum. It takes 10 hours. Sperm capacitation occurs due to removal of certain factors. They are the cholesterol content of acrosomal membrane. It is very tough because of high cholesterol content. And this is whenever the female genital tract, the cholesterol content, it reaches, the, it decreases. So, here we see the ovary under fertilized egg, fertilization. Then it is two cell stage, four cell stage and eight cell stage. Here it reaches the uterus. There is formation of a blastocyst and endometrium. Within the endometrium, it is buried into the implantation. Implantation.
here we can see the ovum released from the ovary that is matured one and it combines with the sperm and forms the zygote that is fertilized egg and then in the first day first cleavage takes place and then it is converted and divided into two cell stage third to fourth day four cell stage then eight cell stage formation of blastocyst the fertilized ovum starts dividing immediately and is called morula 16 cell after 8 cell it divides into 16 cell and blastocyst 100 cell stage we call it as blastocyst on cut section it shows inner cell mass surrounded by a layer of cells called the trophoblast that is covered by zona pellucida trophoblast cells has greater sticky property to epithelial cells of the fallopian tube as blastocyst is covered by zona pellucida, the trophoblasts are not exposed, hence blastocyst is usually not implanted in the fallopian tube. And then after traveling into the uterine cavity only, the implantation takes place. Transport. Next to 3 to 4 days, blastocyst is transported into the cavity of the uterus. Transportation is assisted by fluid currents and ciliary movements of epithelial cells of the fallopian tube and uterus. In the cavity of the uterus, blastocyst floats for some time. By this time, zona pellucida layer disappears. Trophoblast cell is exposed. Implantation into endometrium. Trophoblast, due to high sticky property, it come in contact with endometrium that is hormonally prepared. The trophoblast layer consists of inner cytotrophoblast made of individual cells and outer layer syncytial trophoblast made up of multi-nucleated cell mass. And this syncytial trophoblast secretes proteolytic enzymes that digest and liquefy the endometrial cells. Blastocyst then buries into endometrium. Endometrium, the blastocyst goes deeper and deeper into deeper and deeper into a uterine mucosa till whole of it lies within the endometrium. This type of implantation is called endometrial implantation. The normal site of implantation is dorsal wall of uterus. After implantation, the endometrium is called decidua. Stroma of the endometrium get enlarged, become evacuated, filled with glycogen and lipid. These cells are called decidual cells. Therefore, this change in the stromal cells is called decidual reaction. The stored glycogen and lipids are the source of nutrition for embryo till placenta takes its function. This is how the pregnancy happens. Fetus in uterus we see. This is the placenta. And the fetus, these borders of uterine borders, and umbilical cord, umbilical cord we can see here. Amniotic sac fluid is there, and the this is cervix. This is the urinary bladder. The normal pregnancy lasts about two, two eighty days. to 80 days that is almost 9 months or when we say in weeks 40 weeks or in months it is 
three trimesters are three three. One trimester is three months period. So three trimesters is nine months or forty weeks or three trimesters. Normal delivery could be from thirty eight to forty two weeks. If it it is below the thirty two weeks, we call it as premature delivery. Signs of pregnancy: presumptive so. Physiological signs noticed by the woman herself. First is the absence of menstruation. We call it as amenorrhea. Nausea, vomiting, morning sickness, common thing. Most of the women will face this problem. Breast tenderness, swollen, urination, frequency of urination will be more. Easy fatigability and sleepiness these are the early signs of pregnancy now we see probable signs physiological and anatomical changes that can be perceived by healthcare provider one is the chadwick signs that is darkness of vulva goodell sign is softening of cervix and vagina with increase in discharge hager sign is softening of lower uterine segment and growth of uterus and abdomen skin hyperpigmentation brownish pigmentation in the face darkness in nipple linea nigra that is nothing but pigmentation of midline of abdominal skin positive pregnancy test results that is detection of hcg human chorionic gonadotropin in maternal urine or blood the tests are accurate but not 100% in this we will see the we can observe chadwick sign goodell sign hager sign and also hyperpigmentation and growth of uterus and abdomen and when when we test the urine for pregnancy test that is positive detection of human chorionic gonadotropin will be there in the coming to the positive signs objective signs of pregnancy noted by the examiner by positive examination of embryo sonographic visualization of embryo cardiac movement noticed at 4 to 8 weeks 4 to 8 weeks that is in the second month itself we can able to see the cardiac activity fetal heart by using a doppler in 12 weeks that is third month fetal movement felt by the examiner after about 20 weeks after 20 weeks the movements can be felt by the examiner while doing the examination positive signs are that is by doing scanning or sonographic visualization of the embryo cardiac activity is at 4 to 8 weeks and by using doppler we can see fetal heart beat at 10 to 12 weeks and fetal movements can be felt by the examiner at about 20 weeks that is fifth month maternal changes pregnancy causes physiologic changes in all maternal organ systems and after delivery they will be returning back increase in the blood supply to the breast and uterus increase in level of estrogen and progesterone change in sense of taste and smell increase in saliva 
softening of joints and increased mobility of the sacroiliac and symphysis and pubis. Increase in blood flow. Increase need for glucose, water, iron, folic acid due to developing fetus. Heart rate increases from normal to 70 to 90 beats per minute. Decrease in blood pressure first and second trimesters became normal at third trimester. Increased beating heart. Increase in the kidney and bladder size. High pigmentation of skin. Again, I will read it. Increase in the blood supply to breast and uterus. Increase the level of estrogen progesterone. And change in the taste and smell. And there is increase in the saliva. Softening of joints. Increase in mobility of sacroiliac and symphysis pubis. Blood flow will be increased. Need for glucose, water, iron and folic acid will, will also be increased for developing fetus. Heart rate will be increased from 70 to 90. First and second trimesters decreased blood pressure because of progesterone effect and then it comes to normal in third trimester. Progesterone is a vasodilator so that the blood pressure will be decreased. Increased breath rate that is respiratory rate and increase in the kidney and bladder capacity. High pigmentation of skin. Picture also the same. Changes in the sense of taste and smell. Increased salivation and larger breast size. Increased blood supply to breast. That is, the respiratory rate will be increased. Kidney bladder size will be increased. Increased blood flow to organs and also increase in the heart rate. Instead of 70, it goes 90 per minute. Decrease in blood pressure because of resistance effect. Increase need for glucose and water. Increase blood supply to uterus. Increase the level of estrogen and progesterone. Softening of joints and skin pigmentation. These are the physiological changes. You can remember it better by seeing the picture. Stages of pregnancy. Three trimesters can be staged into three. First trimester, second trimester, third trimester. First trimester is first week to 12 weeks, third month almost. During the first trimester, hormonal changes affect almost every organ system of the body. The baby developed rapidly. The major organ developed in this trimester. Menstruation stopped. Amenorrhea as we see. Pregnancy symptoms and signs are mood swings, headaches, morning sickness. First trimester in the Baby. First it is like this. Three layered embryo. And then the head size enlarged. In embryology of anatomy will be laid in this one. The baby's brain, heart and spinal cord have begun to form. Brain heart and spinal cord. Baby's heart starts to beat in 8th week. Sex organ begins to form. The face starts to form. At the end of 8th week, the baby is a fetus and looks more like a human and about 2.5 centimeters. At 12 weeks, we can see it if he is a boy or girl and the baby can make a Fist. The baby can make a fist. It is between 13 to 28 weeks. Most of early pregnancy symptoms will gradually disappear. 
other symptoms appear such as backache leg swollen and hot bone stretch marks on the abdomen and breast the uterus will grow rapidly in size fetus moves at about 18 to 22 weeks increase of heart rate and blood flow to accommodate the need of the fetus Here, in second trimester, the baby muscle and tissue and bone continues to form. Skin begins to form in the 16th week. The baby can hear and swallow at 20th week. Real hair begins to grow on baby's head at 24 weeks. At 24 weeks, real hair will start the lungs are formed but do not work. Instead of lungs, placenta will work. At the end of trimester, the baby now about 30 centimeters. The baby is about 30 centimeters. Here the new things are the baby can hear and swallow and also the lungs are formed but they do not function. And here the tissue, muscle tissue, bone continues to grow. Skin begins to form at 16th week, 4th month. It is from 29th to 40 weeks. During this final trimester, Fetus grows larger and body organs mature. The fetus moves frequently between 27 to 32 weeks, usually set into a head down position in the uterus. It is head down position, shortness of mother breath, belly button of mother may stick out, the breast begins to Produce cholesterol that is yellowish rich milk. Here in the third trimester, we see baby's bones are fully formed at 34 weeks, and baby can open the eyes. and close and sense changes in light. By the end of 37 weeks, the baby is considered full term. The organs are ready to function on their own. Near the due date, the baby may turn into a head down position for birth. Near delivery, the position of baby is like this. Third trimester, what are the new things we see? It can able to open and close the eyes whenever the sense of light changes. And the organs, they can ready to function. And the position will be changed into head down position for delivery. Calculation of EDD, expected date of delivery. Gestational age can be determined by clinical history, physical examination and, and determining the gestational age using clinical history. And there should be accurate menstrual periods. First day of LMP based on Nigel's rule. That is, we have to add 9 months plus 7 days to the last day of menstrual period.
we have to add 9 months and 7 days to the LMP of the patient. Then we will be getting the expected date of delivery. EDD is 280 days from the LMP. Must be regular cycles. Accurate. Inaccurate patients following circumstances, oligomenorrhea or irregular cycles, bleeding in the first trimester and uh, pregnancy following the use of oral contraceptives, uh, that is uh, pregnancy in the postpartum period, that is amenorrhea during lactational period, A oral contraceptives are withdrawal bleeding. These are the circumstances. To summarize everything, different changes in first, second, third trimester we have seen in the physiology of pregnancy. In next class, we will be uh, learning about the changes in different systems that is cardiovascular, respiratory and metabolic changes and changes taking place in the skin in part 2.